my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and start this video off with Suki. Now, Sukiyana decided to sit down at the Armand Wiggins show and talk about the viral incident that recently happened with YK Osiris at the Crew Basketball Tournament. Now, I believe this is literally her first time speaking about this incident since it happened. Now, in this interview, she expresses how she felt when it happened and even after it happened. Let's go ahead and get into what Suki had to say. She said that when YK Osiris walked up to her, he started to massage her and at first she thought it was cute and she didn't expect him to later on go in for a kiss but when it happened she can't really explain how she was feeling but she knows for sure she was feeling uncomfortable even though she said that she didn't want to embarrass herself or YK what we didn't see in the viral video was that not too long after YK Osiris did that Sukiyana actually decided to leave she decided to stop filming and she went up to her room and she even said that she got very emotional so she did start to cry YK Osiris and his team not too long after she went up to her room decided to follow her and he actually wanted to apologize to Sukiyana but at the time she would not accept his apology so before YK Osiris even wrote an apology to social media to Sukiyana he actually tried to apologize to her in person before that clip got out but she just didn't want to talk to him at that moment but I think the most important thing about this interview and everything that Sukiyana was saying she said that she just feels like YK Osiris at the time he didn't read the room correctly she said everyone makes mistakes and most importantly she said that she forgives him and she feels like he is a good kid like I said I feel like that's what's important about the situation and everything that Sukiyana is saying is that she forgives YK Osiris for that situation so we all can move on let's go ahead and move on to Lori Harvey and Quavo are these two actually dating well that was the news that was recently going around Around all over the blogs after these two were spotted at the same food place in West Hollywood people automatically started to speculate that these two were on a date because they were at the same food spot at the same time well Quavo and Lori Harvey decided to clear up those rumors and let it be known that these two are not dating Quavo posted to his insta story and he said ish cat lori harvey also posted onto tiktok and she said laughing my a off no i was having lunch with my besties who are right behind me so lori harvey let it be known she was not having lunch with quavo she was actually having lunch with her friends and from what we know lori harvey and damson idris are still together right i mean i haven't heard any news of these two breaking up so i don't know why people would think that lori harvey would be with quavo i honestly think it's because lori harvey's rep because she has dated a lot of rappers in the past but you guys let me know what you think in the comment section moving on to cj so cool he decided to issue out an apology today to his ex lexi for exposing their personal business to social media after their breakup i'm assuming that he's talking about this video that he uploaded to his channel four days ago i broke up with my ex-girlfriend and this is what she had to say this is the apology that he issued out to lexi today this is what he wrote to his insta story he said i want to apologize to lexi and to myself for bringing our personal issues online i made a very impulsive move and Lexi and I will work that out and remain friends over enemies and last but not least sorry to all of my supporters who can't support me anymore because of my impulsive ways I think it was good that CJ so cool actually decided to apologize to her because I don't think a lot of exes would actually do that moving on to Summer Walker Summer Walker had to set a fan straight after they asked her about her Pudge. yes her stomach she posted this video of herself and as you can see you can see her stomach in this picture someone decided to dm her they said why do your stomach look pudge don't make me mad summer lol summer walker decided to answer back and she said because i had three kids h o and no lipo lol y'all need to stop asking me this little little meech ain't coming no time soon lol relax i'm finna tour soon no time for that right now so she's letting it be known that she doesn't want to have any more kids right now i can definitely understand why she wouldn't she just had two twins but in my honest opinion and I feel like these questions about women's stomach just needs to stop because there's so many things that can go on with a woman and why her stomach could look pudge whether she just had a baby or she is having a baby she is pregnant whether you are bloated or it's that time of the month like I said I just feel like those questions need to stop and for another woman to be asking this woman this question is just mind-blowing it's crazy one thing I probably would never do is ask a woman about her stomach we are women there's so 
so many things that could be going on with our stomach, but to each their own. Let's go ahead and move on to Krishan Rock. It looks like Krishan Rock might be moving on and might have a new man. This is what she wrote to her Twitter that surprised a lot of her fans. The next dude that I show y'all finna be the dude that I marry. I love my space. I love my peace. I love me. I'm not pressed to show if I moved on. I'm excited to show my growth and blessings now like i said it seems like she has already moved on but then again she could just be saying when i do move on this is going to be the guy that i marry and that's most likely what she's saying she's probably not saying that she's moved on just yet because she is pregnant right now so maybe she is waiting i love that she did say that the next guy that i'm with is going to be my husband i know that's right Krishan rock moving on to our last topic jt is dropping no bars it's dropping tonight by the time you guys see this video it probably will already be oh of course i want to know you guys thoughts and opinions about jt's single super super proud of jt for putting her single out like i said i cannot wait to hear it i already know it's going to be fire because jt can rap but you guys let me know how you feel about all of these topics my lovely tt's in the comment section once again thank you for watching room for tea make sure you like comment subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload follow me on instagram at room for tea with two a's at the end and like I always say I'll see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night